Happy Rails to you. Welcome back, my friends. Happy Rails to you. It's good to see you again. Thanks for watching the channel and the videos. Sometimes they go real fast and sometimes they're slow. Happy Rails to you. Thanks for watching. In. Well, hey guys, welcome back. This is G Man, My World 67. Uh, what you're looking at here is a Norfolk and Western uh, baggage car. Uh, this car came in um, in bad, in very, very bad shape. Um, as you can see, I went in and I had to patch the inside of this. And I just decided to do a video on it. I'd already started the repairs on it. Um, this light housing was broken and uh, was loose. It was broken in two places, on this side and this side. Uh, it was too short to actually hook back to this side. So I took a, a piece of uh, plastic and... Uh, I made a L-shaped uh, piece for it and glued it back uh, onto it, onto this uh, housing, and glued it back here to the sidewall. You can see this tan colored right there. Yeah, I'll get it at the right angle. You can see it. I can't get it at the right angle. But anyway, it's there. There it is, right there. And uh, glued to that and glued it to this side and hot glued it. I, I made a little plastic deal for it too and then hot glued it to this side. Uh, this now is going to set a little lower than this one, uh, but it's still going to be okay. This piece here was all broke out. Big hole there. And I went inside and I made a plastic plate. Let's see, there we go. Plastic plate for it. Covered the hole from the back side. Uh, then I made another piece that went down in the shape of this hole. And then I made another piece and put on top of that so that I would reach the thickness of the original shell. So this is actually three layers of this plastic. Now you can get uh, this plastic struck plastic is what this is. Uh, or you can get evergreen. Uh... Which, um, which is actually what this is, is evergreen. Sometimes I get plaster strokes, but this is uh, the evergreen. And they do make it uh, in thicker sheets at your uh, hobby, shore, shop, hobby store, excuse me, or at um, Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby. And I'm sure there's other places you can get it. Arts and Supplies might even have it. Um, this shell was also broken out here, had a chips out of it, big chips, large areas here. And on this other side, it was missing this strip here and this step. And so I couldn't make an exact duplicate of this step. But you can see it right here. If 
hold it right in the light. There it is. But I made a close copy, a simulation, good enough to get by for the shell. And of course, put this piece of plastic back in here. Each one of these have been doubled also. Now just finished going over them and re-gluing them and touching them up. Um, and so I got to let this all dry. Uh, I actually started this last night, late last night, and let it dry till this morning uh, to today and then came back and worked on it a little more, filled it in where it needed to be filled in at. I still have not built this, as you can see, these wheel areas for the trucks have been all broken out. I did start a patch on this one, and uh, it was not quite as bad as this one, but I've still got to uh, go through and I'm going to reinforce them from the inside down in here. And I, I still don't know whether I'm going to use plastic or um, a washer. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to uh, make something or put something down in the inside. Uh, what's left of these cups to reinforce them. This one I will probably leave alone. I'll probably seal around it some more. Uh, it's at the right level. And uh, I'll, of course, sand it off and uh, get it nice and smooth. And then we'll see uh, how we're going to rebuild this one. This is our uh, Mike's train house. And I doubt you'll be able to see that on there, but they're Mike's train house. Where is it? Right there. Let's see. Get that light on there just right, maybe. So it's not like I already don't have passenger cars to to do this to. I've got some Lionel, couple of Lionel cars, and um, two or three American Flyer S gauge cars, and a couple of metal cars that I need to do, and we're going to get to those at our later date, but. These um, came came in and it was requested to see if I could repair it. And so I'm doing a video on it uh, to show that it can be repaired. Um, usually if you've got the parts or you've got the material to work with, there's not a whole lot that can't be salvaged. The, uh, the thing of it is, is how you salvage it and how close can you bring it to the original condition. Now, if you're restoring it and wanting to restore it and it's too bad, maybe you shouldn't go that route. But if it's like this and you're just wanting to make it functional and look good again, um, you can do this. Now, also, I wanted to show you on here and it takes some fine tuning probably to see it but I don't know whether you've noticed or not but it right here on each end of these sign and across the top of these cars is ribbed so we have a little piece of rib here original 
This was broke out across the rib here. The signage on this corner was also gone. So when I replaced this, I had to build this and shape it according to this signage here and put some ribbing in it. So I had to cut strips of plastic and remake this ribbing. Now it's not exact, but I think it's going to be good enough uh, to get by. Now I've got to come back and I've got to resand all of this back down. So I just sealed it all up. Now I'm going to have to come back and sand it down and get it smooth. All right. I also have uh, an observation car for this. And it's not in quite as bad a shape uh, as the, uh, the baggage car. I do not have a passenger car, but I'm going to be looking for one. That's one thing I'm going to be looking for. I don't want to have to try to paint one because I want to try to keep these in the original color. I'm going to have a hard time matching this boxcar brown or uh, that's not the correct color for it, but that's what I call it. This one's broke, busted right here. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. That's actually a simple fix. We're gonna go in uh, take the top off, go in, uh, put a little glue on it, line it back up, push it back in place, wait for it to, uh, to mend. And we'll fill these little cracks with glue also. We'll use the uh, super glue for them. The rest of the car is fairly good, except again for the bottom. For some reason or another, uh, the trucks got ripped out of them. All right, so when we finish this, we finish this one, then we'll go ahead and do this one. Of course, once we get the men done on this, on these two cars, we'll be able to put our trucks on. And we'll probably go with either K-Line or Lionel trucks. Because I don't have any Mike's Train House trucks. And I'm not trying to keep it all original. Just want it to look good, to operate like it should and uh, be able to run in a consist with uh, whatever cars or whatever engines that I want to run it with. So, I'm gonna let this dry some more. Um, Probably overnight again. 
and uh, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Well, it's actually been um, three days since the last video. I've been uh, busy doing things. Uh, of course, we had a busy weekend this weekend. Um, and uh, But I did get some things done uh, to it in preparation. Uh, for this video on today, uh, this addition to the video on today. Um, I went ahead and, and built up this piece in here that was broke out and then put a new face on it. Cut this round disc here out of plastic and put that on there. Down on the inside of this one, I don't know whether you can see it or not. Try to get you a focused view here. Down on the inside of this one, I put a washer and it's glued in place, cemented in place, over and under. And that's just to give it a little reinforcement and to serve as a uh, guide for when we actually put the uh, couplers back, um, I'm sorry, the wheel sets back on. Um, now, over on this one, you remember this was all cracked. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but then I hot glued it glued it and then uh, hot glued it and I haven't went back and, and sanded or done anything to any of these but I went ahead and fixed this problem uh, by putting uh, filling in the hole I went ahead and, and cut the broken top because it was all so broken up this was completely broken up on one side and was missing so I just went in and I put in uh, a spool, a plastic spool. And basically what I used for that was an empty uh, paint cartridge. And I don't have any handy right now. But uh, that was the right size to go down inside there. Glued it in place and then filled it in I'll show you from the top this is an anchor that I'm thinking about using uh, to screw up into let's see if I can get it back out of there one-handed and of course I can't there we go and this is just an anchor and it's stuck down in there and you can see, I like the other side. I made a uh, put the hole back in down through the center, this is a, a heavy plastic straw again to use for a guide. Okay. For the boat went ahead and put a little glue on the inside of this in the cracks nobody will see it anyway it's not not to be shown This side here, this bottom, where this white piece of plastic is, uh, was a reinforcement piece because this piece here, uh, I didn't realize it was actually so cracked 
that it was actually pushed down and didn't have any strength to it at all. So I went ahead and, and uh, lined this all back up and uh, put this on there to give it more uh, strength. This is a piece of plastic clap, cap. that I hot glued in place. And I, I topped this off with hot glue and filling it in. Um, and as I showed you, it has the straw down through the center of it and a uh, heavy plastic, uh, like a bushing. The straw goes down through the bushing, comes up, levels off, and all of this is filled in around it, and this is glued. Uh, on top of it, which rebuilt this space, which this is the original side of it. And if you can see it, this is the rebuilt side of it. And I rebuilt that up, uh, of course, with hot glue. Now, um, I'm going to try to get this as smooth as I can, but I, like I say, I'm not going to really worry about it because um, this is a used car. I'm not doing this for uh, someone else. I'm doing it for myself. And while I was at it, since the, the two brakes were so different, I decided I wanted to try a different method uh, to try to rebuild it and uh, so they're similar yet different as this one was rebuilt all the way uh, up from ground zero this one was just a matter of patching over the hole and re-putting another surface on top of it and strengthening it this one however had to be totally rebuilt and i thought of several different ways to do it but uh, the best way was actually uh, ended up being with things that I had on hand to do it with. Um, the best way to, to bring that about. Once this is all painted, uh, it will look good. I am going to try to smooth this off, as I said, as much as I can uh, and, uh, and uh, before I paint it. When I get done, though, I, I think it will be something someone wouldn't mind owning. Um, they wouldn't pay a lot of money for it. Neither would I. But it would be much worth much more um, for usage uh, once it's rebuilt. I want to point out also, I don't build trains to sell them. I don't repair trains to sell them. I actually repair them to keep. Uh, but doing this channel, I have so much, so many items that uh, in order for me to uh, have space, I have to let a few trains go every other year. I am uh, skimming my collection out, thinning it out so that I could have uh, just the, the ones that I want. And uh, I mean, who can run four or 500 trains or even two or 300 trains? You can't run them all at one time. So it takes a year to run them all. That means servicing. And so it's a fun hobby. But if you become, uh, it gets to the point to where as it becomes work, then it's no longer, uh, no longer fun. And I enjoy every, every aspect of this hobby. So I never want it to become drudgery.
And whatever I can do, I like to be able to share it with you. So that maybe you can get an idea or you can duplicate it or take it to the next level, which is even better. All right, so that's all we've done uh, up until this point. I just had finished setting this on and getting this ready. I got to drill this out, drill this one out. And then, of course, as I said, we're going to finish them up. I'm going to sand down. Uh, this area a little more. I did a little sanding on it. I'm going to sand it down a little more, get a little bit smoother. I'm going to sand these off just a little bit. And then we're going to try to uh, put a little paint on our repairs and see how it looks. Oh, okay, guys. That's all I got time for in this video. Um, but be sure to catch uh, part two of the rebuilding of the uh, Mike's train house, Norfolk, and Western uh, passenger cars. All right. As always, if you enjoy operating on <clears throat> your layout, running trains, rebuilding, refurbishing, remodeling, landscaping, whatever your hobby is, maybe you have a different hobby and you you enjoy that also. Whatever it is, you should have happy rails. Remember, God loves you and Jesus Christ is Lord. Bye for now. Bye-bye.